Hey there, I'm Incomp, and today we're looking at a skin called Operation Overwatch. It was made by Nixit, the same guy who made Swiggity. Nixit recreates the Overwatch style almost as if he actually worked for Blizzard. To the best of his ability, every detail is accounted for. Song buttons use similar designs from the bottom sections. I would have liked some color to my grey letters, but that's just personal taste. Oh, and the stars are replaced with quadrilaterals. More specifically, parallelograms. Simple geometry. The bottom section is great. I really like the highlights on the buttons as you hover over them, especially the mode button. The mod icons are all icons from the game, either of heroes or their abilities. They mostly all make sense, save for a few. For example, the hidden icon. It's Widowmaker's visor thing that is used for her ult. Her ult lets you and all of your teammates see through walls. Basically, the icon implies the opposite of what hidden actually does. Sombra's stealth icon would work better here. Oh wow, the ranking title is splendid. It's moved over leftwards, though not perfectly centered, and it gives your ranking screen a different look. It also works wonderfully with the gap in the ranking panel that the client causes. The actual panel works, numbers look fine, and the colors are appropriate. Once again, the Overwatch style is adapted perfectly. The grade letters, I think, should emphasize the grade itself over the graphic. The letters are completely overshadowed by the symbols underneath them. While the symbols are all logical, D's are bronze, C's are silver, B's are gold, A's are platinum, S's are diamond, SH's are master, SS's are grandmaster, and SSH's are top 500, they probably aren't instantly readable to someone who doesn't play Overwatch competitively. The hit burst icons are fine. Nothing special, nothing to con. The performance graph is actually pretty neat, however it looks like the graph line crosses over the blue tick on the left, but ends just before the blue tick on the right. Maybe move the left one a little bit leftwards more? I don't know. The play of the game button is a little strange. It gives me a crisis. Is it really a play of the game if it's the only play that happened in the game? The hit circles are bare, not a lot to look at, they are next to empty. However, that keeps them more playable, so quite a few players will probably appreciate it. Sliders are acceptable, the slight color difference between the hit circles overlays and the slider edges keep the heads easily distinguishable from the bodies. The follow circle breaks the limited color palette and throws some yellow into the mix as well as the repeat arrows. I think this was an intentional choice so that the player's eyes are drawn towards those important elements when they need to be. The HP bar is cool, being very similar to the health bars from the game, except that I'm apparently a tank. I like how the bar is at a bit of an angle and this gives it a somewhat first person-ish feel. Spinners spin. There's no approach circle, so you can't really tell when the spinner ends. It's a good design too, I think it's from Widowmaker's scope. The key input area is pretty swell. It may not be sporting fancy colors, but I really like how it highlights the button that its counters are tied to. The pause screen is great, along with the pause loop. The fail screen is also nice, but it's in 4-3. Nice fail sound. The hit bursts take some getting used to, and I think that's a bad thing. They are hit markers, which is weird, but I can work with that. The bad part is how they break the traditional scheme of green 100s. This affects playability, albeit only for the first few plays. Of course, there are customization options. Have a look.
Also, you should add I need healing as a custom miss sound. The song selection screen remains faithful to the Overwatch style, even to the point where it almost looks official. The only real problem is that nonsensical hidden icon. Everything else is pretty solid. Song selection gets a 4.5 out of 5. As for the ranking screen, the ranking title is nutty. The performance graph is slightly less nutty but still worth a mention. The problem I have with the ranking panel would be the gray letters and how they are completely overtaken by Overwatch's placement ranks. But it's not like they are unusable. I'll give the ranking screen a 4 out of 5. The gameplay is, for the most part, not bad. The follow circles and repeat arrows on sliders are clever, breaking the strict color palette in order to grab the player's attention. The key input area, as I said before, is pretty swell. The pause screen is better than most, and the pause loop is a nice touch. However, I do have to point out the lack of an approach circle on the spinners, along with the hit bursts straying from the established color scheme. A 4 out of 5. For the final score, TF2 Premium gets a 4 out of 5. I'll also stamp it with clean and fancy 